What's up, YouTube? It's QB Ace. Look, you already know what it is. We live action. Gotta say what's up to my elite fellow Soul Reapers and my nobles. Alright, this video is a video. It's like a discussion slash thoughts or response to, you know, uh, the Black Ops 2 announcement and trailer. I know it's been out for some days now. So, upon that being out, I've been reading and seeing a lot of other people's reactions to it. Now, before I get to some other motivators, let's focus on uh, my thoughts. Now, in my previous video, one of my previous videos, I have a video titled Black Ops 2, Too Much of Anything, you know, it's bad for you or isn't good for you, one of those two. So, pretty much in that video, what I was saying is, how they come out with a Call of Duty every single year, they are gonna be the, you know, Treyarch and Activision, all of them, they're going to be their own death because they come out with Call of Duties every single year. Now, I kept, I did see in the video that I'm curious about the story. I will follow, you know, uh, keep up the speed with everything. But I automatically had that mindset that since Black Ops was before, uh, excuse me, Modern Warfare, since the Black Ops series was before the Modern Warfare series, I'm thinking, oh, man, this sequel, like, what well, they, they, they're gonna just go to the, the 90s or something or the 70s, you know, because Black Ops 1 took place in the 60s. So, I automatically thought Black Ops 2 was gonna take place not too far from uh, where Black Ops 1 started. Now, here's the thing when I seen that trailer, I was blown away. I was, because I was shocked. I was shocked. I'm impressed by it. I'm sold. I'm gonna buy it. Yes, I am. Now, before Ed, shut up. Before you get the going, listen. Let's switch over to the uh, reactions of the announcement and everything. I've seen a lot of videos and read a lot of comments on forum sites, uh, IG and comments under the video, everything. Naturally, you have your people saying, of course, oh, another Call of Duty. Oh, same game, different year. Oh, uh, wow, still looks the same. And I've heard people saying, like, um, oh, it's another thing. Already the sales, according to Amazon, the sales already, pre-order sales, beat Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1. So what does that tell you? People saying they don't understand how it's, uh, top in the sales they don't this one guy said a stupid ass comment in my book he said wow just because they changed the timeline doesn't mean it changed the gameplay motivator please when you change the timeline it opens up more possibilities in windows this is in the future it's not it's not in the future future like star wars but it's in the not too distant future it takes place in 2025 13 years from now so you have you seen the soldier with little digital screen on his wrist. You have the unmanned drones flying. You have little walking adats or baby mechs as you want to call them. You have little tiny walking tanks with the treads with turrets on it. Had a lot of these unmanned um, Skynet kind of um, weapons going around. So that got, that's just a, a sprinkle of what they gave you on the trailer. And it, it makes you think, wait a minute, this is something Call of Duty has never been, has never done before. It's in the future. So, of course, the new weapons, are new. you're going to have to play it a new kind of way. Damn, oh, it's a helicopter or a Harrier or a Cobra up in the sky. You just take cover and shelter or shoot an RPG or a Stinger and add it and take it out. Now you have these machines walking around a battlefield. You know, this is going to add a whole new implement. And this is just from the machine standpoint. Okay, now... For people who wasn't hyped about the trailer, I'm hearing comments, oh, another Michael Bay action trailer. Um, oh, they didn't show nothing new. Listen, this is, we, they've done this before. This is just a taste. They give you the taste trailer. This even is, this season, this is not even the final reveal trailer. There are gonna be other trailers. Then there's gonna be that final, final trailer. If you haven't taken in what you have seen and what you are realizing, then you, you are not a real Call of Duty fan. It's funny how the people who bitch about it and complain about it they sure as hell went to watch that trailer. They sure as hell did. So, you know, if you don't care about it, don't watch the trailer. Like, you think I'm going to watch a trailer of a new Battlefield or something? No. Nah. Somebody would probably show it to me if I would never watch it on my own. You know, like, upon my own power. But you have to people. This is the, my main thing. Research. I'm a man of my research. 
do your research. People just see one trailer and judge the whole thing off of one trailer. We have yet to get information regarding multiplayer. We have yet to get information on all the other modes. Hold on, reserve your judgment. People were saying the same thing with Modern Warfare 3. Look at it, within 16 days, a billion dollars. A billion. 16 days. First day, 400 million. It's first day, 400 million. It keeps breaking records. Regardless of how many thumbs down people get the trailers on YouTube, regardless of how many negative things people say about Call of Duty, it keeps breaking records. They are doing something right. So, for all of you motivators who think it ain't nothing new, it's the same thing, I want you to feel silly. I want you to feel stupid right now due to your lack of research because you put all your judgment into a trailer. Did you know that this Black Ops, because I'm a man of my research, I looked at the interviews. I read up on it. I looked at the interviews of the trailer developers. Did you know, hmm, there will be sandbox style missions. I mean, I mentioned there will be sandbox style gameplay, which means no more back-to-back -back missions. Hmm, did you know there will be multiple endings because you get to make choices in the campaign now? Oh, and on top of that, it's not just a simple press A, press B uh, uh, decision making. No, it's on the fly decision making. You don't kill this person, you let this person get away, you don't throw this grenade away from there, this person gets killed, it affects the whole story. Oh yeah, what's that other thing? Um, are you just in the future? And IGN making fun of it like, oh, it's, I heard people say this also, oh, it's in the future, why are they on horses? Oh, they're running out of ideas, it's on horses. Motivators don't listen. When it starts out, you play, it starts out in the 80s. Yes, it continues on. The Mason story. It goes through the 80s, I'll say about through the first third of the game. And then, not the first third, but like the, uh, like just early, early on in the game. And then it goes on to the, um, to 2025. It goes like that. I'm pretty sure the part when you are on horses, that is the time segment when you are in, when you're in the 80s era. No, you're not in America, obviously, in that part. Okay. Also, um, let's see. Oh yeah, the story. The story, you know? Also, new vehicles, such as the Claws, you don't know what that is, the Tilt Jet Planes, the X-47 Pegasus, the Quad Rotors, or just little stuff like that. Who knows what all new weapons are gonna be implemented into it, all new perks, kill streaks, all those kind of things. Um, LA is gonna be in this one. Also, this is the thing, it has a mode right here. To help departure from Lanier campaign are a set of special missions dubbed Strike Force. These missions are sandbox. Here's another thing that's sandbox. And they play similar to RTS games. For all you non-real gamers out there, RTS stands for real-time strategy, you know, command and conquer, yeah. And the player can assume the role of a commander and command ground forces, and on top of this, there will be ability to go back to the traditional first person view and take part of the action yourself. So let me paint a picture for you. You're giving commands on some Command and Conquer style. I like Command and Conquer. I've beat a few Command and Conquer, so this is more cool with me. You're giving orders. Command and Conquer, once you give orders, you just sit back, you know, from a God's eye view, watching, watching. Damn that. Instead of watching, you get to take action in that. So when you give commands and orders, you it goes back down. First person view, you taking action again. I think that was cool. Oh yeah, and zombies. Up to eight players now. And it's gonna be running off the multiplayer engine. And they're gonna put other modes within zombies. All these additional features I bet you motivators didn't know about. Because they just see, oh, a new Call of Duty. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's whack. Reserve your freaking judgment. You know, do your research. I'm a man of my research. Be a true gamer. If you're a true Call of Duty fan like I am, do your research. You know it's gonna open up so many doors and possibilities because it's in the future. So that's all I got to say about that. I mean, it's going to be good. Like I said, let's go over it again. Sandbox. No more back-to-back -back mission gameplay. Um, different path settings because you get to make your choice. Also, multiple endings. Upgraded zombie uh, mode. Uh, strike Force mode. New weapons, new vehicles, new timeline. It's stepping into the future. And that's the funny thing. People have been complaining about, oh, it's the same old thing. They do something to do something different. As soon as they change it up and add new stuff in, the people still bitch. Y'all need to just leave it alone. Y'all like to just hear yourself bitching. So that's all I got to say about it. As y'all can see, my spiritual pressure is rising because it just annoys me, man. People 
do when people make dumb videos or or, or, or complain about stupid stuff, y'all give me foundation to y'all y'all my source material. So as long as y'all keep bitching about stupid stuff or being stupid, hey, y'all gonna keep seeing my face. So that's all I got to say. This is the Elite Ace. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out.